Hey, it's Ted McGrath. So what is brand storytelling or how do you tell a story for your brand? And we use storytelling online where we sell 2,000 products every single month, 2,000 customers coming in every single month. And I also use storytelling as an actor where I have a one-man play on my life story. And storytelling has been the cornerstone of my entire business, my passions, my love, my life. And I wanna to talk to you about how I've actually done it and how you can use it in your business. So number one, the first element of brand storytelling is think of a personal story that you can tell um, that is universal to a lot of people. That when you share something personal, it makes it more universal where it applies to a lot of people and it really connects with them. So if you're an entrepreneur or a service business or an expert or a coach, you know, telling a personal story, um, of course, related to some degree, you know, intertwined with your product. One, connect the customer to you personally, but two, connect a person, right? Which your customer is a person, so it's gonna connect a person to the actual product. Because if I just sit here and I say, hey, go buy this product, it's such a great thing, and I tell you about all the benefits of the product, but I don't tell you how a person has used it, and I don't talk about the person's journey in using it, you don't connect with it as much because you have to dream up of how it would actually apply to a customer. But if I tell you a story about how I went on this journey and in, in using this product, uh, it provided me this outcome on this storytelling journey that I share with somebody, then you're gonna go, wow, that was amazing. You're gonna feel inspired. You might feel emotionally connected. You might feel like, oh, I wanna go buy the product now because I wanna be like that person or I wanna result like that person or I really like this person. And it, if nothing else, it shows you how the product can be used by a real person. So brand storytelling should be personal in nature you know, and you should be telling a story so people understand the product and its application more. Now, here's kind of the structure of storytelling that I would use, okay? So number one, the pit. So there's a pit moment in any great story um, where it's kind of like the low down and out moment of the person uh, in the story. And you watch this in great films as well. You know, you watch it in Braveheart where uh, all he wants is peace in his life and kind of starts out the movie with, you know, his family dies, but he wants peace and he wants to settle down as a farmer. And then his wife is killed in front of him. And then all he wants is, you know, revenge and he wants freedom for his country. And so we go into this pit moment of like, oh, wow, his wife is killed. And then we see him search and search and search and search for what? He's searching for the breakthrough moment. So in a story, you have a pit and then you have a breakthrough moment. And the breakthrough is that moment for him, it was like freedom, right? So that's the breakthrough moment where it's like the complete opposite of the pit moment. The pit is loss, pain, down and out, you know? And think about what your product is right now. Whatever loss your customer's feeling, pain, agony, uh, suffering that they're going through, problem that they're facing, that's the pit moment, right? The breakthrough is kind of the opposite of that. It's the breakthrough moment, as in Braveheart, it was freedom, right? For me, one of my brands is called Message to Millions, so I talk about my journey and my pit moment of you know 21 years old being in the insurance business and then um, chasing the money and cracking six figures in my first year in the business and then on the kitchen floor that night, overdosing from a bag of cocaine, two pops of ecstasy, 15 vodka sodas, and my soul's coming out of my body. I'm dying. And then I searched and searched and searched. So in between the pit and the breakthrough in any story, there's a search. So for me, I was like, well, the money didn't do it, so maybe power and status will do it, right? And then what did I do? I went out and I chased the power and chased the status. Five, six years later, I was the number five partner out of 500 partners for one of the top life insurance companies in the country, and I had that gnawing question, right? Is this all there is to my life? And that propels me to search more, search more, search more. You see this in movies too, right? You know, there's some learning lesson that happens on the search or some question that the character's asking themselves or some obstacle they're trying to overcome. The breakthrough moment is a heroic moment. So for me personally, you know, I searched and searched and searched and then, you know, I woke up one day and realized that I wanted more, you know, I wanted to make a difference with my story, with my message, with my voice, with my passions. I realized I wasn't gonna do that insurance business, so I left, I resigned. But one day I saw a guy do a play, a one-person play, and I saw him do it from the stage. And I was at a business conference, it was so unexpected. 
And at the end, I stood up. I was so inspired. I'd seen Broadway before. I'd seen other shows. I'd never seen anything that touched me like that. I was like, that's what I want to do. And seven years ago, I wrote a play. And I've been performing the play. And now we're turning it into a feature film. And I've used storytelling not only to bring me into the entertainment career, but I've used storytelling to build a multi-million dollar brand with Message to Millions. Right there is the breakthrough moment of the, the breakthrough, you know, the realization that I want to do something more. And then the results, results, results. So any great story with a brand story, you know, talks about the results that follow afterwards. So a great story, hit, search, breakthrough. Telling a story is important to take people on an emotional journey so they can connect with the brand, all right? So hope this serves you. Subscribe to the channel. When the world opens up a little bit again, we start touring the play. We'll tell you if we're in your city.